Kailan po si Yas? Ano po yes, sir. Uh, I was, my responsibility is primarily on HR, human resource and organizational development. So, um, kami po yung in charge ng mga programs natin with respect to teachers and then the non-teaching personnel and then yung, uh, kami rin po ang in charge doon sa organizational effectiveness and the benefits that we can probably give our teachers so, through our offices. Aside from that uh, position, meron pa po ba kayong ibang hinawakan sa DepEd? Uh, well, sometime in November, sometime November of 2023, sir, I was designated as the chair of the BAC-6. No? BAC-6 is the Early Pro Procurement Activity uh, designated BAC. BAC? Yes, sir. Bids and Awards Committee. Sige. Na-mention niyo po na BAC member nung panahon na yon. Sino po ang BAC chair at that time? Ah, hin sir, sa no no November, BAC chair ho ako. Naging BAC chair ho ako Naging ng BAC-6. Nang BAC-6, so. Yung BAC-6. Okay. But, uh, yun ho. Sige po. Uh, hindi ba po pagkaganyang malaking government agency, especially yung DepEd, sometimes maraming mga box assigned for the procurement of particular category. In the box that you specifically belong, ano pong mga bagay yung procurement ang kailangang dumaan sa inyo? Uh, particular? Yes, sir. Um, as far as I recall, ang, ang dumaan sa akin ho ay laptops. Laptop? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, laptops for teaching, non-teaching, and uh, yung DCP project ho. So, kabilang po dito yung procurement relating to DepEd computerization program. Yes, sir. Po? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 2024 ang original ko. Noong back member kayo, naging party po ba kayo ng October and December 2023 bids for the DCP? Ah, yes, sir. I was also um, before the 2024, uh, before the November designation as back chair, I was also part of the DCP 2022, which was bidded in 2023. Yes, sir. Na-mention nyo rin po na naging back chair person. Kaya kailan kayo naging chair person po ng back? I think if I'm not mistaken, around November na po ng 2023. November ng 2023. Or is it December? Something November or December, sir? Kasi I, my memory is not really at this point. Na-re-recall nyo pa po yung mga project na dumaan sa inyo as back chair? Yes, sir. Uh, the DC, the, originally, I was, since I was handling the back six, it is supposed to be the early procurement activity. Back, no? The back in charge for early procurement activity. So, kasama ho, yung nare-recall ko ho is the DCP project for 2024, who sana? for 2024 DCP project and uh, laptop for teachers, laptop for non-teaching personnel. Ganun po yung aking nare-recall na, na... So, up to now po, are you still working with DepEd bilang director at back chair? Um, not anymore as back chair, sir, but I am still working with DepEd. Yes, but I am no longer connected with the HR. I have been reassigned under the new administration. I have been reassigned to the office of the undersecretary for procurement. So, pwede ko sabihin, ranking official pa rin kayo ng DepEd? In terms of the fact that I am an appointed director, sir, yes. Yeah. And you play an important role. Kasi kayo parte ng back before, di po ba? That obviously is yung DCP, yung computerization. A flagship program of the DepEd. Is that correct? Yes, sir. As far as I am concerned at that time, yes, sir. Tanong lang po. Would you also receive envelopes from Ms. Shine Paharda? Parang ikinawento ni Yusek Mercado. Envelope containing cash. All right, um... Your Honor, Mr. Chair, no, I must I must be candid about this. Um, I I must say I did, but I didn't know because I was new in the department. I thought it was a practice of the department. I thought, you know, I the very first time I encountered that matter, sir, was sometime in April of of 2023. Uh, I didn't know why it, we were. I was summoned to to the office of the of an ASEC Shine, and then I was given an envelope. And um, it was later on I found out that there was money in it, but it was not because I was a back member or whatever yet, because I was not at that time. At that last hearing, sabi ni Yosek Mercado, kung natatandaan ko, nine envelopes yung natanggap niya, amounting to 50,000 each. Sa inyo pong uh, pagkakaalala, hanggang kailan kayo nakatanggap na envelope? Ilan? It started April. I think it was until September of that year. Up to September 2023. Yes, sir, but I, if I recall it right, I was only summoned about four times to the office. Four times? Yes. I, Up I, to I, September 2023? Yes, sir. So, yung last quarter po, wala na kayo natanggap? Wala na po. Wala. So, in other words, wala na kayong envelope na natanggap ng fourth quarter ng 2023. Tama po? Yes, sir. Mukhang sumakto ah. Sa panahon na hindi na ginamit ng DepEd yung confidential fund for the last quarter nang pumuputok ng issue ng confidential fund. Anyway, uh, Mr. Osias, I think this was also mentioned by the BP in the press conference na nags... Magkano po pala yung laman pinata? Magkano po laman ng envelope? Um, I think it was something like 
between 12 to 15, sir. Hindi ko na ho matandaan yung laman talaga. 12 to 15, sir. Very uh, minimal amount, yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Osias, uh, last week din po, after nung nandito si Yusek Mercado, meron din pong press conference si Vice President. According to the Vice President, nagsolicit daw po si Yusek Gloria from private companies using the name of the BP, which is supposedly the reason why she was let go. Kaya siya tinanggal. So, based po sa dokumento na inilabas, ito ay patungkol sa programang DepEd Guru. Are you familiar with that uh, project? Uh, yes, sir. I am familiar with the DepEd Guru project because I am supposed to be the project owner of that okay. uh, program, sir. Uh, Mr. Chair, can you explain to us briefly what this project is about? Um, early on, when I joined the department, about maybe a few weeks after I joined the department, and as normally done by former USEC law, no? Um, she would, she would come up with a list of things for us to do. And um, I recall that there were tasks given to us. I think it was after she went on a, on a birthday trip. By who? There were about, I'm sorry, sir. There were about 40 tasks that okay. had to be accomplished by our strand, the HR and OD strand, including the other, other um, components of that strand, sir. So does the HR strand or the HR OD strand and NAYAP and PEX, um, we had about 40 tasks. Out of the 40, there were about 27 that pertains to my, to my um, bureau, so for HR and OD. And um, I recall that one of the priorities of, that we were informed no, by, USEC, by USEC law, one of the priorities that we need to deliver as a strand um, is some kind of a chatbot wherein the secretary can connect directly with our teachers. Meaning that, that the idea was um, for her to be to be able to for the teachers to be able to connect with her directly so that she can immediately respond to this with, with the secretary. Yes, yes, sir. And uh, there were three assigned to me, and the other two were um, uh, a PDIS. We call it a PDIS, an information system on all the employees of the department. And the other one was um, a hiring process, which will minimize the engagement of the human intervention, no? so the computations were all um, uh, done by the system, something like that. So there were three. So DepEd Guru was more on the aspect of uh, that, that parang immediately makakausap ni VP yung, yung uh, mga teacher, so they can immediately raise to her the concern. Because the, the, the thing there, sir, is if you use the, the idea there is if you use the current social media processes like um, uh, Messenger, um, etc., no? there are about, at that time, there were about 888,000 plus teachers. So just imagine if a teacher comes up with, um, with a concern and there were so many of them, uh, matatabunan lang ho yung kanyang concern and there is no possibility for, for example, the VP to be able to answer the, the concern. So there has to be some kind of um, uh, a different approach to it, some kind of uh, uh, te technological um, approach wherein it will ensure that the VP is able to answer all these concerns because there are really many of our teachers. Thank you. So uh, the DepEd Guru is for that purpose. According to Yusek Mercado din po at that time, nangailangan din kayo ng external uh, partners para sa project na ito. Tama po? Uh, yes. Um, actually, as far as I recall, uh, there was an activity wherein our, our strands were asked, what are your projects? What are your concerns? And uh, we were supposed to, there, there is an office in DepEd that is, that is supposed to.